Hello! Today we're going to dive into the world of bow tie diagrams, covering the what, why, how, and when. If you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more insightful content. So let's get into it with number one, what they are. Let's start with the basics. What is a bow tie diagram? It's a visual representation of risks and control measures. Think of it as a map that guides you through the hazards and potential harm in your organization. Your diagram begins with a hazard, which is a potential source of harm. Just below at the heart of the diagram is what we call the top event, the point at which you lose control of the hazard. If your hazard is operating heavy machinery, the top event is the scenario you really don't want taking place, like losing control of the machinery. On the left side, you have the threats, the things which lead to this top event. Why did the operator lose control of the heavy machinery, for example? And over on the right, you find the undesirable outcomes, or rather, the consequences of the top event taking place. If they lose control of the machinery, it could lead to injury or loss of life, for example. And what brings your diagram together are the barriers. These are your safety nets, the things you put in place to stop the event from happening. Together, these elements create the shape of a bow tie, hence the name. So that's what they are, but why would you use them? Number two, why they're used. Well, they offer a complete picture of your risk landscape and visibility and awareness can be the key to a safe and successful organization. By using bow tie diagrams, you can zoom out and see every aspect that plays a part in a potential unwanted accident. There's no one singular threat to causing the event to take place, nor is there just one consequence. Bow ties are really useful to be able to assess this and start to apply preventative and mitigative barriers to prevent the event from happening. They put the focus on the barriers and their importance rather than listing them in the table. But this isn't the only reason why they're used. They're helpful when you're trying to communicate to a large group of people as they're visually effective and easy to understand. They're much more engaging than tabular risk assessments. Not to mention, they're excellent for visualising cumulative risk. You can see the significance of multiple barrier failures and assess the domino effect. Now you know what they are and why you'd want to use them, you're probably wondering, number three, how to make them. Now, if you want to dive into the nitty gritty of creating bow tie diagrams, head to our channel and check out our video, how to make a bow tie diagram, link in the description below. But in a nutshell, here's how you make one. Start by identifying the hazard. Next, pinpoint the top event, which is the moment that control over the hazard is lost. You can discuss this with other risk managers and those on the job. Determine the potential consequences of this top event. Again, there is never just one consequence. So really think out every potential outcome of the event. Identify the causes or threats that could lead to the top event. You can brainstorm this as a group and begin to add these in. Next, establish preventative and mitigative controls, or in simpler terms, barriers against these threats and consequences. If any of this is sounding like jargon to you, check out our video on the elements of a bow tie diagram, where we go into the difference between preventative and mitigative barriers. Once done, we can then visualize the risk scenario using the iconic bow tie shape, as shown on screen right now. And now you can add relevant information to those barriers using metadata. This is a really handy feature within Bowtie Master. Speaking of Bowtie Master, if you are looking for a helping hand, you can download our free template from the link in the description. This helps you to build your Bowtie diagram in PowerPoint or Excel and is super easy to use. But of course, we'd always recommend using actual diagram software for this. Bowtie Master is an incredibly user-friendly Bowtie diagram software. We've got plenty of helpful videos on our channel to get you started. But let's get back to our quick guide and move on to our fourth and final chapter. Number four, when to use them. Now, let's touch on when you should use bow tie diagrams. You should consider using bow tie diagrams when you want to assess high risk scenarios or understand the impact of potential incidents. They're like your risk compass, guiding you when things get tricky. For instance, let's say you're dealing with hazardous chemicals. A bow tie diagram can help you visualize the potential risks and the safeguards in place to prevent accidents. It's not just a drawing, it's your roadmap to safety. 
You should consider using bow tie diagrams when you need to communicate risks and hazards to a large group of people, such as training personnel on a new job site. Anyone who has been a risk manager will know how hard this can be, so having an easy to understand visual can be super helpful. And that's it. The what, why, how and when. If you want to explore more about risk, bow tie diagrams or other insightful topics, be sure to check out our channel. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, stay safe.